Hello everyone, welcome back to Highland Homestead and uh, this is a recap from our live with Jules Small Gardening on Friday and we had talked about our rotational grazing and the type of solar charger we did for our fencing and he wished he had a schematic so he could see what we were talking about so instead we got the real thing to show him so Jules Small Gardening this is for you what we did was I made this. I didn't purchase this as a unit. I actually made it. Pretty simple. Harbor Freight got a dolly. Walmart got a battery box and I previously had a battery but you can get the batteries at Walmart. Either get a deep cycle or you can use an automotive battery with this one because the automotive battery will not drain out. This will keep it full charge just like it is in a car. You don't have to worry about it. Our other charger doesn't have a solar, so when it drains down, we have to charge it up. Well, batteries that go down to zero voltage needs to be a marine grade battery. So, Dolly was $29. The box was $9. The batteries, you can get anywhere between $45 and, and $80. The charger that we got on here is from Ken Cove. It's a three joule charger which is is quite a bit for a little solar system if, if anybody knows fence chargers and and goes into tractor supply and look those fence chargers are only 0.16 joules 0.2 joules this is a full three joules and the charger is a dual voltage charger it could be plugged into an ac outlet or it can run off a battery, which I have this instant here. Now, the solar panel, this solar panel is a 40 watt solar panel. They recommend 10 watts per joule of power. So really a 30 watt panel is what I needed, but actually the 40 watt was cheaper to buy on eBay, so I bought that. Also at Ken Cove, to do this whole system, you have to have a regulator for the solar. Otherwise, it can overcharge the battery and you can have a battery explosion. So you gotta buy a solar battery charger. And that's what is this little box right over here. The way this system works is that solar charger, everything goes into that charger. The battery goes into the charger. Ken Cove's uh, three joule fence charger goes to the uh, solar charger. And then the solar panel goes to the solar charger. The solar charger keeps everything regulated. So it takes power in and sends power out. And that send in power out is going to the charger. Now, this particular charger is nice because not only during normal use, it has a shock value LED lights that shows you how much voltage is being produced but if you press the buttons twice then you can get the actual battery level of your battery so you know once every week you could check to make sure your your battery is still healthy because you don't want this system to fail and then now your animals have no electric around their fence and they can just get out and roam the neighborhood so all in all, this is actually cheaper than buying some of these solar, you know, some of these solar chargers are over $300. And especially for a three joule, it, that's hard to find in a solar charger. So I made my own. So $29 for the dolly, $9 for the box, or $7 to $9 for the, the battery box, $45 to $80 for the battery. The solar charge was $140. The charge controller, waterproof, was only $25, and the solar panel was $60. And then I just went to Tractor Supply, got some aluminum brackets, made a, made a little, little bracket to mount it, took a piece of plywood, drilled it into the, um, into the uh, dolly to support everything. And so now, my wife can do whatever she wants and put the fences wherever she wants to go throughout our property very easily in one, one little unit. Now, what is really good for Ken Cove is this portable ground rod. And what's nice is 
It's just like pounding a fence post. You get it in the ground, but once you get it in the ground, you need to pull it up. You can pull it up. It's got a slide hammer and it works both ways, down and up to remove it. So this is our ground rod. which clips the, to the black, the negative, and then this goes to the fence. And that's how we power our fence. So let me show you the other one that we have. Is that over here? Now this fence charger is 0.6 joules. So this fence charger is great for two bundles of the electric netting. That's about the max that you want to do, or the portable uh, fencing that we use on reels. But uh, this used to be mounted to this. This was a combination mount and ground rod. But the problem was we found out when it rained, for some reason, this was grounding out to this. So what I did is I removed it, put it on a wooden stake. So I put that in the ground. Then I have this as the ground rod. Now. This is battery only. It doesn't recharge, so you got to check your battery. But we go two to three weeks on a battery in a, just a small um, deep cycle marine battery is all we use. That'll last about three weeks before it needs charging. Now this has a red light that tells you when it's flashing, when it's pulsating electric, and when it starts long pauses and slow you can tell that the uh, battery is getting low. So we put it so we can see it from our porch. We can see it flashing. If it starts going slow, I need to know that I need to go out there and charge that battery. Now what we use is we use a little um, lawnmower battery for temporary. We put it out there, clip it. That way our fencing always has electric to it. And then I take the, the big battery in, charge it up, and then when it's done, then I swap them back out. But this normally mounts on this thing here. But I don't know if it wasn't very waterproof or what, but it, this thing is only 60 bucks. And we got this from Ken Cove also. It was in the sale thing and it works great. The pigs do not like it. So, it, you know, as, as thick as the pig skins are, it works really well. But if you're gonna use this for portable netting, two's the max. So this would be perfect for one paddock, but you could use up to two netting, which we have done before. But uh, we use this one on our, uh, on our big areas uh, that needs more power. So, you know, this thing could run uh, over six fences, you know, portable fencing. So, but this is what we use, hooks up to the battery. And this is what we use for our portable paddocks. All you need to do is set up a square ring, or actually not even square, whatever shape you want to want to do with T-post. And then this is on a reel. You clip this to an insulator, you run this all the way around, and then you clip this on the other side and you can tension it. And this has got a little spring on it. You can tension it, keep it tight, and it's quick and easy for paddable, portable paddocks. So we use this for our rotational grazing. We usually have four, sometimes five, depending on the lay of the land. And uh, we just, you set up four corners and then you can put intermediate posts in the middle to support. So you could do a 20 by 20 square, hexagon, triangle, whatever you wanna do with this, it doesn't matter and you run this around and once you run that around you can use the little uh, the uh, portable states so you can do your t-posts on the outer corners and then you can use these step-ins to support the wires so they don't sag in between those so you can put two three of these in between the metal posts the metal posts go on the corners because you need something sturdy on the corners to keep them from you know bending in or you know drag with the tension that you do to pull these tight. But you put these in the middle to support the middle and it's real simple. It, it doesn't take long to make a quick paddock with this system. Now we got a little bit more elaborate um, with, we got uh, a gate set up uh, with bungee cords so that 
This starts on the, the, the T post with the bungee cords on it. We go all the way around and then this finishes the fence and I, got, I welded a just a bracket on a T post to mount these so we can tension them up. So you can get as elaborate as you want or as simple as you want. Now, if you already have a pasture, you can just divide the pasture from fence to fence with this. And then you can put these posts all along the line just to support the wire as long as you got two ends that are sturdy so that you can put tension on this. So Jules, I hope you uh, like some of this info and uh, we're looking forward to uh, talking to you again. And if anybody else has any questions, by all means, put comments, hit like, subscribe, and the bell button, and my wife will greatly appreciate it because a happy go-go mama is a happy big daddy. You guys have a good day and enjoy the, at least here in Northern New York, it's nice. Take care. What are you turning around for? Get over here. I'm doing a side shot so you can... This is our thumbnail.